our kitchen. So today we are cooking a few appetizers. And I feel like there's a lot going on because I'm doing several things at a time. But um, we only have about an hour before we need to be at the church. And so I'm trying to get everything squared away. So I'm doing two specific appetizers tonight. We're having our annual Christmas party. And we're supposed to do finger foods. So I'm hoping what I'm making is going to classify or qualify as finger foods. If not, it's going to be okay. So I'm doing two things here. I'm doing some buffalo chicken meatballs. So this is just a regular, um, it was a frozen meatball, but I had them left out in the refrigerator. So they're just going to warm through, but this is going to go into the crock pot. So I do have my crock pot on high, and that's going to keep it warm as we drive over to the church. So in this pan, I have two 28-ounce packages of the frozen farm-rich meatballs. They were three fifty, and I had a dollar fifty off coupon, so I got two packs for four dollars, so two dollars a piece. I'm doing some Texas Pete Buffalo Wing Sauce, and I'm just going to add this right in the whole wing sauce. And the reason I'm doing them in the pot first is because it's going to give me a little bit more time to. It'll be quicker to warm them through. So to that. I'm actually going to add in a couple of stalks of celery because you know buffalo wings, celery, blue cheese dressing. So I'm taking three stalks of this celery off. I am going to go wash this really, really quickly because I did not wash it ahead of time. My bad. And we are rushing a little, so grace and mercy, grace and mercy, right? All righty, y'all. So I'm just going to cut the tops of this celery off, and I'm going to cut the bottoms off. And then I just have, let me move this out of the way for a second. So I cut the tops and the bottoms off. I'm going to get my niece helper to take this to the trash can for me. Thank you, niece. And then I'm just going to put this in big chunks into the pot. So it may not get soft, but it will be celery. And then my sister's bringing some regular celery just to have on the side. And I'm going to let that simmer up and cook for a little bit. Let me put a pot top on it. And then I'm going to work on my main dish. Let me see if that's, well, that's not big enough. Okay. We'll leave the pot top off. So the main dish that I'm doing tonight, let me grab my cutting board because this is bothering me. It's just challenging my spirit, my entire spirit. Okay. On my cutting board, I'm going to cut up a couple of onions. We're doing ham and cheese sliders. They're going in the oven and then they're also going to go into the crock pot as well. So I'm going to take a large onion, kind of a medium to large, and I am going to just take this outer skin off. Normally I would cut this into little chunks or dice it, but I'm actually going to cut this just straight across to make like little onion circles. Into this pan I do have some extra virgin olive oil that is getting warm, and I'm actually going to saute my onions so that they'll be cooked. The only reason I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees is because I am going to put the sliders in the oven just to melt the cheese. And then, of course, I have my crock pot on high. So that is going to help the sliders continue to cook. So I've cut these into circlets or ringlets. Nice. And I'm actually just going to saute these off. Jackson, will you find mommy some uh, spinach? So I'm doing one. I probably will do just one, one whole onion maybe. One whole onion. Thank you, lovely. And also, if you can find me just the top for this front, um, pot lever, that would help. So I've got a couple, I also have, I had some sweet potatoes, and so what I did was I cut them into sweet potato chunks, 
And I also had a butternut squash that was left over. Thank you, buddy. Ay, ay, ay. Cut yourself, cut yourself. Oh, cut myself. Hold on a minute, y'all. Justin, find me a band-aid, please. Find my a band-aid. That was a sharp knife. There we go. I just nicked myself just a little. Let me get a clean knife. So again, that's one onion. Cut these bigger ones into small pieces. One onion. There we go. And I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning. I'll actually get Jackson to help me do a little cleaning. So I'm adding a little bit of Italian seasoning. If you can tell in here, my buffalo sauce is already starting to bubble and cook and get nice and hot. I'm going to toss that around in a second. As soon as I get my onions sautéing pretty good. So I've got that going. Let me add in a little bit of salt. Thank you, lovely. I'm adding just a little bit of salt. Let me see if I can get my Band-Aid on. So my daughter's here. My son has been home all week. He's on his leave. And my oldest daughter just got here a few minutes ago. Um, and she brought a special... Oh, there's no bleeding. Just a little, There was no bleeding in there. But I do want to put that on just in case while I'm cooking, just to be secure. But there wasn't any bleeding. All right, so my older daughter came home, and she brought my mom, who's going to be staying with us for just a little while over the holiday. I'm going to go to my trash can because I feel like i got a lot going on. Jackson, will you come to the trash can? Come to the trash can. Thank you. Alrighty. So now, I feel like I can kind of... What is that? Here. I already put it in, but I need to go out. I feel like I can kind of take a minute now. And I'm done with the onions, buddy. So over here, I've got two sets of Hawaiian rolls. Because we are doing the little ham and cheese sliders today is what we're doing. So I'm, I've already oiled this pan. And I put some Italian seasoning in the bottom. And I'm just going to take my knife and run it right through the middle of my Italian roll because I'm just going to flip the top of this off. I need one more pan, baby. I'm um, waiting the pan, the onions. Um, the onions are behind, Mommy. And so I'm just going through here, just right through the middle of these, and I'm just cutting the top off because I'm going to stuff this with my ham and cheese. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to taste good. So I'm going to take the bottom half of the Hawaiian roll and I'm going to leave them in my pan. And I'm just going to shake my onions around a little bit. Let me see if I can find a, uh, something to work my onions with. Here we go. I'm just going to work my onions around a little bit. Because this time they're not diced, they're just circlets. And so what I'm trying to do is just get them sauteed a little bit. Because I don't want there to be a crunch in my sliders. But I do want to fill my sliders up as much as I possibly can. And so for me, I'm always trying to find a filler. I could have done some green pepper and onions and um, celery. But I didn't have time to cut up the green peppers. And the celery, you saw what I had to do in the meatball. So I didn't have a lot of time. And I still don't because we're working with less than an hour. So what I'm doing now is I'm just getting those onions with a little bit of caramelization, a little brown on them. Taking the rest of my olive oil, I am going to baste my bread with my baster just to get that olive oil spread all throughout there going to put a little bit more of the Italian seasoning on there. And we're going to have about 24 of these sliders. 
Jackson got me another pan, so that'll be helpful. We're going to add some spinach into this as well. So as soon as these kind of get a little bit more done, we'll add the spinach in because spinach doesn't take long. Alrighty, so I'm going to do just some sharp cheddar. This is white, sharp white. And what I'm going to do is just take that out of the package. Use my knife to get it and split apart. Doesn't have to be pretty, just has to taste good. So there we go. Two of those. Three of those. Four of those. And I'm going to do five and make that cut in half so that every little piece or every little square of bread has meat. Now, the other day I was shopping at Food Line. And I found this manager's choice. This is turkey breast. So I'm going to use this um, instead of doing ham. This will work just as, just as good as ham. And I found this for $1.50. So I'm going to just take this and cut it in half. And then just lay the turkey breast out. And I want to cover this so that every sandwich has some of the turkey on it. That every bit of that bread and that cheese is covered. And that was an extra one. I'm going to get those onions one more little top. Then I'm going to add in a whole bag of spinach. Just an entire bag of spinach. Spinach will sound really, really well. So I'm just going to work that around a little bit. And I'm going to start to clean up just a smidge. Just a little. I'll get my helper to help me a little bit. Take that, baby. Thank you. All right. So I've got my meatballs going. I've got my spinach and my onions going. I salted and black peppered the onions just a little bit. See how helpful. Oh, Jack. We need a bag, Jack. A little bit more of the Italian seasoning here. Yes, a little more of that Italian seasoning. And I'm going to actually put this mixture with the onion and the spinach on top of this. One more layer of cheese and then the second layer of bread. While that's going, I'm going to slide over and deal a little bit with my meatballs because these were not frozen so they should be good the only thing I'm going to do is just turn them to make sure that every one of the meatballs is getting some of the sauce on it this is just again two packages of meatballs and then one packet or one jar of the buffalo wing sauce from Texas Heat and it smells very hot well it smells, smells spicy some people like buffalo, some people don't. I'm going to take a chance that this will be a hit at the party. And again, these are already pre-cooked and they were cooked already. And I took them out of the freezer so that they would um, not be frozen, therefore not need a lot of cook time. Okay, so that's cooking up nicely. That's one medium to large onion and one entire pack of spinach and so once I get and this is soft those onions are soft and I just want to cook it to soft for the onions this is going to go right on now I'm going to do one without one without the onions and spinach so again just a little bit of olive oil bottom of my pan because I do want there to be a nice crunch on the bottom of the bread I'm going to take a little bit of the Italian dress, uh, the Italian seasoning here, and I am going to put that in the bottom, cut my bread top off, cut the bread top off. The only thing about this house is I wish I had more counter space, or the counter space on the side that I like to cook on. I like to cook left to right. And I have, or right to left, and I have more space on the left side of my stove than I do on the right side of my stove. So it does challenge my 
spirit indeed. Okay, so I'm pulling that top red off. I'm going to take this bottom of the Italian, uh, the uh, Hawaiian rolls. Now, I don't eat Hawaiian rolls. I hardly eat bread because I'm just not a fan. But my kids love it. My daughter came in and the first thing she, she said was, can I have one of these Hawaiian rolls? No, ma'am. Okay. So this is going right on top of the turkey breast. And this nothing fancy that's just from the grocery store out of your deli section turkey bread turkey breast. I've got the bottom half of the Hawaiian rolls, some sharp cheddar cheese that's white, turkey breast on top, onions and spinach. I'm going to put another layer of cheese. Jackson, we got more trash, Bubba. I'm going to put one more layer of cheese to cover, and then this is going in the oven. Right there, babe. And then I've got some Hawaiian roll trash over here. I've cut that burner off to make sure that I don't have any burners on. And then that's how we're going to roll with that. So this bottom section goes with this one. I'm going to go right over top of this with a little bit of the olive oil. Just so that it gets a nice um, golden brown. And a little bit of the Italian seasoning on top of that. And then that's going in the oven. 150 degrees. And I'll probably cook for about 20 minutes. In this one, I'm going to do um, just a little bit of the olive oil. And I'm going to open this new one because that other one is just about out. So I'm going to open this one. See what I get. See if it's a little easier. It is. This is an Italian medley blend of spices that I got. Probably had a coupon for it. I probably paid a quarter for this. Normally $2.99. I think I paid a quarter. I'm sure. It's how I roll. And then I'm going to take the, this is the 2% sharp cheddar that's orange. And I'm going to repeat the process. The only thing that I didn't do that I'm not doing on this one that I did on the other one is do the onions and the Spinach. Some people don't like vegetables at all, so I thought I'd give a variety here. So that's four slices. That's four and a half and five meat. Again, this is the turkey breast meat. Turkey. 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 And I just slice this in half. These will be just like, um, Ham and cheese sandwich is just a little bit warm. I'm going to do a little bit of more of the Italian. Just a little more of the Italian. And go here with this. So my mom came two hours away. Tired now. Need a good rest. So the kids and I are going to the Christmas party and she'll stay here and rest while we're gone. So this is done. A little bit of that. And again, I've got my crock pots already warming. I have them on high just so that when I put the food in, it will have a nice high temperature. But of course, while I'm driving, they won't be plugged in. So it should not decrease the uh, temperature of the food too, too much. And then this is going in. So I'm going to do... 20 minutes on the timer. Oh, 20 minutes. And now I'm going to come over here to this crock pot. And, hmm? Hold on a second. Gotta go get the phone. Joe Jackson. Paul Jackson. So I've got just a little bit of trash left to clean up. I have a I have an issue cooking when my kitchen is not squared away. My grandmother was very, very um, picky about her kitchen. Like she didn't play no games. So I try not to play games. And again, the only thing I don't love about this house, and I love it, is that it's just... No, 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 the house phone, Bubba. 
use the house phone. The only thing is that I'm just not loving the layout. I'd much rather have this much space over there than I do on this side. Um, there's trash. Look in your contacts, Ma. Oh. Okay. We'll be right back, and I'll show you how I'm finishing this up. So, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Hello, welcome back to the kitchen. So, we're finishing up. We're about to leave and head out for the Christmas party. Um, if you're in our area, come on over. We'd love to see you. But I just wanted to show you what our sliders look like. We just took these out of the oven. I put them on 20 minutes. They pro I took them out at seven, uh, at 18, and they probably really only need about 15 minutes. So um, these are the ones that just came out with the onions and the um, spinach. So if you could tell, the tops are crusty. The spinach and onions we cooked ahead of time. So they're really, really melted and everything. I've got the crock pot on high. And so if you look way down in here, I don't know if you can see it, but you can tell that that cheese is still bubbling. When I unplug this, it'll stop cooking, but because it's already hot, it'll keep the sandwiches hot. These are the sliders without the onions and the, and the um, spinach. So I'm just putting these in. I wanted people to kind of have, oh, Lord, Lord, look at the cheese. I wanted people to have options because some people are not veggie folks, and that's okay. I think it's really good with the veggies, and so I like them, but some people don't. And so what I'm going to do, uh-oh, that one is sliding off. So I'm going to cut that, and then I'm just, again, throwing them right in the crock pot. I've got a crock pot liner in here. And so that helps definitely with the cleanup because ain't nobody got time to be scrubbing no crock pot at all. The end. So that's what we're doing here, finishing up. And then my other crock pot, I'm going to show you my uh, meatballs. These, again, are the um, buffalo wing meatballs. All we did was do some frozen meatballs with the using the buffalo wing sauce. So that, look at that on the bottom. That, because I put that olive oil on the bottom, it gave it a crusty bottom of the bread. So that's going to be really good. Hopefully people will like it. They may or may not. I like that. Okay. So in this pot, put the crock pot on. That's my $9.97 Walmart crock pot I got Black Friday. Praise the Lord. And in this pot, I just have my meatballs with my buffalo wing sauce and I added in my celery. So that's been cooking steadily away. I started it on the stove, then threw it in the crock pot. I'm turning everything off. We're unplugging everything, and we're heading over to the church. Oh, I didn't show you this, but I'll show you really quickly. I had about three sweet potatoes, and I had one butternut squash. So I cut them up, let the squash and the sweet potatoes cook for about an hour and a half. Then I added in some butter some cinnamon brown sugar and some marshmallows so of course that's what we're going to take as far as a sweet treat but anyway that's what we're doing for our christmas party thank you for coming by our kitchen we'll see you next time